Focus in the Texas State House is on Uvalde today as lawmakers start their investigation into the shooting at Robb Elementary School. And now the New York Times reports that police supervisors on the scene knew there were injured students inside the school that needed help. Now that report shows that police waited until more heavy duty protection equipment arrived at the school before they eventually did confront the shooter. Here's NBC's Jay Gray with more on the investigation. It's been just over two weeks since the killing spree at Robb Elementary. Still, the deadly gunshots. The tears of the shocked and shattered community echo inside the halls of Congress. The only clue at their identities was a blood splattered cartoon clothes still clinging to them. And today at the Texas State Capitol. The people of Vivalde and the entire state of Texas deserve the facts and answers. Lawmakers opening their investigation into the mass shooting in Uvalde trying to find out how it happened and make sure it never happens again. We have a duty to do what we can because our children's, our children's lives are on the line. One of the children from the attack sharing with members of Congress how she survived. He shot my friend that was next to me and I thought he was gonna come back to the room. So I grabbed the blood and and put it all over me. And while Washington again debates gun laws and Austin searches for answers, back in Uvalde, we are reading all this way. They're trying to figure out how to push through the overwhelming loss and unbearable pain. Jay Gray, NBC News. Meanwhile, March for Our Lives, that's the gun control advocacy group started by survivors of the Parkland school shooting back in 2018, is now starting another series of marches against gun violence in schools. They're organizing marches this Saturday across the country. The largest one will be in Washington, D.C. There are several planned in Colorado as well.